What's up travelers? In this video we're heading over to Juliet's house. Yeah, that's right, Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. So stick around and check it out. We are in Verona, Italy. So we're only here for a day. The reason why I came here is because there is apparently a hard rock cafe here. It's the only one in Italy that I haven't visited yet. But we are kind of starting to head that way, but right now we're just going to head on over here to go see Juliet's house. I know it's just a tourist trap and all of that, but still it's kind of cool. Hello, my name is Varun, a really cool guy in a boat. You can be really cool guy like Varun if you subscribe to Tasting Travel right now. If you do not subscribe, I'll be ah ah. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you don't want to make Varun scream. So, hundreds of years ago, a book was written by this English guy. <laughs> he had written it after reading another book from some other guy that was written after that guy wrote another book by some other guy who just happened to be this guy. Uh, and he wrote some really famous books from the early Renaissance period and uh, in that book he spoke about the Capuletos and I believe the Montaganios uh, and he told a little bit of a story and then the next the guy who took that idea away and kind of embellished on it a bit went into print and then this guy translated it into English and then this guy the, the first guy I talked about <laughs> he uh, he embellished on it and turned it into the story that we all know today as Romeo and Juliet and that right there is the supposed balcony where Juliet said Romeo Romeo what for art thou Romeo we know that that isn't true uh, considering this balcony built in the early 1900s however we don't know if the Capulet family that was spoken about is actually the family that Juliet was in so we don't know if Juliet actually existed we don't know if Romeo actually existed however this building was owned in the official record by the Capuletti family or the Capuletto family so it's kind of close there's a lot of there was enough room for for telephone to be played and things to get changed and then down over here we have a statue of Juliet legend has it if you rub Juliet's boob you will be afforded good fortune in your love life so that's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we'll have to check that out. 